hey what is up guys so today i'm going to show you how to do that aspect ratio that mkbhd has been using in his videos for the past couple of months the reason behind this is using this aspect ratio is because i think he believes that this is where youtube gone ahead for smartphones so the main reason for him using these aspect ratio is for smartphone users to have a better view and a comfortable view so I'm going to show you what I'm talking about and explain it more. Then I'm going to show you how to do it in Adobe Premiere Pro. So stay tuned guys. Thank you guys for watching the video. So here we are on one of MKBHG's recent video at the time I'm recording this. So I'm going to hit play right now. So there you go. It started to play. If you look closely, you see a little bit of black bar down below. That's because of the aspect ratio he's using. I'm going to bring up the aspect ratio on screen right now to tell you guys what exactly aspect ratio is using. It's going to pop up on screen right now. So you guys can put it in your Premiere Pro. Although I'm going to show you how to do this in Premiere Pro. So you guys realize that in his video, you see a little black bar. This is because when you put your phone in, full mode you will see it completely without losing any video without his head top crapping out or stuff like that i'm going to play another video to compare it with so here's what i'm talking about when you put it in full screen so here it is in full screen mode this is now full screen mode so as you can see i didn't lose anything his head didn't crop out or anything like that the video still look crispy dynamic and nice on screen even though it is in full screen mode so you can't zoom in or zoom out while i'm going to compare a next video now that is not in mkbhd ratio which is i think 18 by 9 i'm going to put it up on screen to make sure all right guys so here am i in peter mckinnon one of his recent video at the time i'm recording this i'm going to show you how it differs from mkbhd with the ratio he's using so i'm going to play this video right now so here you can see peter mckinnon videos don't have any black bars at the lower bottom or the top so that's because he's not using the ratio that mkbhd is using and now i'm going to show you what's the difference between mkbhd ratio and the regular youtube ratio that everyone use so here is it so i'm going to put it in full screen mode right now all right guys so here am i in full screen mode and you realize that over the left and the right you have a black space for it to fit which is a signature hanging off of the video which kind of look crappy to me and not that crispy but with the newer phones that they're making these days you'll be able to zoom in but this is what happened when you zoom in so i'm going to zoom in right now and you're going to see what really happened so here am i i'm going to zoom in so you see when i zoom in his hat kind of get cut out not completely because the way he flim it but it had kind of get cut out when you zoom out you realize that you lose a kind of some part of the video some period of the video is crapped out if you look over where the zone is and you zoom in you realize the zoom the zone get closer so that basically the video got cropped and resized basically for it to fit the phone so yeah that's why you should use mkbhd aspect ratio if you're most of your viewers are on smartphones which today most people who watch youtube is on smartphones and not on a desktop you really see people watching youtube videos on a desktop only at school or at work or stuff like that but once you're on the go you're gonna watch it on your phone even when you're in the bed you're gonna watch it on your phone because everything is on your phone so i'm gonna show you how to do this in premiere pro all right guys let's head on in into adobe premiere pro all right guys so here we are in adobe premiere pro so first thing you're gonna want to do is go over to here go over to here right click a new item sequence then you're going to go over to settings i'm going to make this custom and then you're going to want to set your frame horizontal size to 
3840 and your vertical to 1920 and then you're gonna just hit ok so now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna import a little video clip real quick let me jag in my video clip real quick so here I'm, I'm just gonna jag in this video clip right now put it there wait for it to import so here is my clip imported i'm gonna bring it in you're gonna get this warning sign so all it's gonna do is just keep existing settings so here we are and you realize that right away this this video don't fit don't fit the scale so what you're gonna do is go over to click on this clip and go into effects control and basically what you're gonna do is just scale it up until it covers the whole screen so right about there you see it covers the whole screen basically and i don't have to worry because this clip is not gonna move or anything like that so when you export this file and put it into youtube you'll get the same aspect ratio as mkbhd you won't have to zoom to fill the whole screen so yeah guys that's all you do this and thank you guys for watching this video and i'll talk to you guys in my next one peace